What's going on YouTube guys and gals? Today I'm bringing you a video of the HP Elite Pad 900. Now this guy has been around for a little while. Um, this was one of our tablets that we used for patient surveys and uh, honestly it worked really really well for a good long time, um, right around three years. And uh, one of the updates that flowed down to it from Microsoft for a .NET upgrade uh, ended up killing the application that we needed to run on it. So uh, we ended up uh, replacing these guys with Surface Pros and uh, we decided to retire these out. In the process we came across one that uh, the screen had cracked on it. Uh, not the actual LCD but the uh, touch panel screen itself. And um, in looking around online to find out how to take the screen off and uh, replace it I didn't really find a whole lot of information out there. There's not a lot of videos on YouTube posted about the Elite Pads. Um, so I did a little research and digging around. Um, you Really you're supposed to have the suction cup, uh, a locking suction cup to be able to disengage this. We don't have any of those here at the office uh, because we don't really have that many tablet devices. So I began investigating some alternate means of getting this touch screen out so not only am I going to show you a disassembly video of this guy but we're going to show you how to get around needing a suction cup uh, with touch screen tablets and phones and such that uh, you know give you at least a, a beveled edge here that you can work with um, the Elite Pad's pretty slick though um, I liked it I still do like it um, but you can see it's really well designed it's Honestly, it rivals the the look and feel of uh, of an iPad. Um, it's got this nice aluminum casing. Uh, the buttons feel real great. They don't have a whole lot of uh, feedback to them, but uh, still, they feel really good. Um, no screws that are overly apparent. Uh, you would think, you know, this top plastic section here, you know, you might be able to pop that off or something. Um, but it doesn't. It's this is all all integrated one piece. Your antennas live behind here as well as your camera. Uh, really, the only screws. Oop, I accidentally booted it. We're just gonna kill it here. The only screws to this guy are hidden right here below the charger and data port. Uh, you got your two speakers off to the side there too. I'm not really getting into in-depth video though on this, but. Um, these two uh, holes here are guides for uh, the smart sleeve I think they call it I, I could be wrong there and what I'm what I'm referencing that to but it's a jacket that you can slip on this guy makes it a little bit bigger and bulkier I don't really like that part of it but it does give you USB ports and uh, enhanced the speakers on it um, but the uh, there's guides in there. The dock as well has guides right there that it follows into if you dock this thing. But uh, there's two screws hidden down in there. So to start off, you're going to need your Phillips zero head, and you're going to remove these two screws. Got lucky there. One popped out with it. <laughs> Just tap and then that guy will come out. So now the touch screen itself, you can see it's got this little plastic beveled edge to it and you're going to see what that is here when we pop it out. Um, the only things that we need to get this out are a razor blade and a credit card of some sort. Um, we've got these, they're like little smoother spludger type um, cards for uh, screen protectors that we we have they come in each sleeve um, this one I've used a couple times already on the uh, other device that I was replacing the crack screen on so uh, I'm gonna keep it I might need it just as an extra one but we'll go ahead and start with a fresh one here you could use a credit card or anything like that I don't know if I'm gonna use this or not I came across this um, just searching around here in our equipment room um, it's a cleaning brush for an old IBM ribbon printer um, but it's got a little bit of a thicker firmer plastic than what this guy is a credit card is going to be a little bit firmer for you and I think it's going to work better but so we'll uh, go ahead and get underway now I, I found out that right here underneath the uh, Windows key 
and directly above the charging port there's a decent little gap there and you can actually you can use a uh, a uh, paper clip in where your screws went in at and you can kind of get that started if you press on it a little bit but I forgot to grab my paper clip so we're going to attempt to do it without it so right there we've already kind of got it started with popping it up and then as we pop it up I know you probably can't see this right now but you'll start to notice where each of the little clips um, live at and then there's decent little gaps in there that you can use to uh, slide your credit card into and keep working it until you can get this whole bottom edge unlocked and get your fingers on it and get it snapped out so we're just going to keep working on it here got enough of it unclipped here to where I should be able to work my fingers in and start snapping the rest of these off um, you're gonna notice here uh, you can see these little ridges in the plastic framing that I'm talking about that you're gonna work your credit cards or you know your thicker piece of uh, plastic tool you can use a spludger or anything else um, and work these in here you've got these magnetic type clips here they kind of roll in and out to secure it. You're going to see here in a minute that um, these only line uh, this edge and just a couple down here. Um, the rest of these are plastic clips so it is going to make it uh, different for putting it back in. You have to put it back in in a certain way. So let's try and work my fingers in here. of it going there you can see it just pops right on out of there so HP made this thing pretty easy to service that's the only piece to remove to get inside the casing on this so from there and I'll go ahead and take off the ribbon cables here for the, uh, the monitor touchscreen combo And there you have it that's the whole the whole screen there uh, you can see what I was talking about here you got these little plastic lips 
that ride along these two edges and then on the bottom edges here you got two on each side of these magnetic hook clips and then you got three on the side here of these magnetic hook clips so knowing that now you know when you start pulling on it <clears throat> you can really you want to try to focus on this area first and then come back around and then like I said when we put the glass back into it you're going to want to start by kind of locking it in up at this top corner here and then snapping it all back together there like that now obviously it's not going to snap together cleanly because I got those cables loose right now so but just to give you the idea of how to reassemble it as well so I'm going to set that off to the side there Really not a whole lot to uh, service in this guy though. Keep in mind it is a tablet so everything's going to be mostly integrated on your main board and it's built as such to where all the specs as far as your memory and your uh, storage space are going to be locked in based on which motherboard that you selected for your tablet. But there are a few small little pieces that you can replace in it. You know if you end up getting you know one of the down firing speakers here wet or you know it blows for whatever reason. Um, those are easy to replace. The charging circuit here, your uh, charging port, sometimes those become corroded if they get moisture in them or you can get them damaged. Um, it does have a wafer board in the middle so if you're not careful you could chip that wafer board and damage the charge port. Uh, that's easy to replace. Two screws pops that out and takes the ribbon cable out from there. Um, this whole black section here is your battery for the tablet. Um, start getting short battery life that's pretty easy swap out as well you can see it's marked where each screw is that's holding down the battery and then you got the power cable there running back in the rocker switches off to the side here you know you can crush those too um, if it gets dropped or you know just repeated use um, so those are replaceable as well uh, what else we got here we got the webcam up at the top um, I've seen them fail you know not likely but you know if you need a new one you can do that the headphone jack's not going to be replaceable, uh, it doesn't look like. I think that's soldered down to your main board here, so uh, if that becomes damaged, unless you're good with soldering iron, you're pretty well stuck with getting a new board on that. And the wireless NIC, you got the wireless NIC and Bluetooth antennas um, off to the side here. I haven't really ever seen one of those go bad, but I mean, it's a possibility, I guess you can do that. So there you have it, guys. I mean, like I said, I didn't really want to get into too much on the internals of this guy because it is an older tablet, um, and there's probably not a lot of these out there that actually have this. So, but like I said, I enjoyed it. I, I thought it was a very nice tablet to have. Um, I'm kind of sad to see them go, but you know, the Surface, um, they, they kind of, they've taken over with that. It's a very popular device, so... But if you enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like and drop a comment down in the section below. Um, if you really liked it, subscribe to the channel so you can pick up on more of these types of videos that have come out later on. So until next time, it's just another day at the office for me.